Welcome to hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Are you getting it in? Somebody getting it for you? What's going on, people? Subscribe to my channel. What's going on, people? It is a day. Of another day, of another day that we call Tuesday. Anybody being said, what's going on, people? Hopefully, everybody's doing everything as far as being safe in this world we're living in, knocking down doors and making your dreams come true, and practicing ignore. <sighs> now, I want to talk to you about something in reference to what well, gets yourself back up on my foot and stuff, in case you miss me. So I want to talk about something in reference to mental illness, especially with the hormones and stuff that we're taking. And the reason why I want to talk about this, I'm going to stay or just only on the hormones and stuff. I'm not going to be talking about um, the body work and stuff like that as far as, you know, the pill works within your, you know, everything else. But I want to, I want to share with you in reference to um, mental illness. Mental illness is very real, and I realize that a lot of girls that are on these hormones are not really talking about that part about it. This is a pill that's basically the more pills you take, you know, it's supposed to do a, well, it's supposed to do a lot of to your body and stuff like that, and you know, because you're transitioning from one to another. But let's talk about the buildup that goes to your brain. Now, a lot of times people don't understand why a lot of two-spirit women have certain things like going crazy, snapping, get away from me and stuff like that. The pill is, is working on their brain, their frame of mind, and they're not doing things as far as being more positive. They're kind of snapping, going a little crazy. Well, you know, it's building up a mental illness. The more pills, the more is getting tribute contribute to and the reason why I say this is because a lot of cis women refuse to take this pill you hear what I said a lot of cisgender women said they will never take that pill because they know that pill does a lot of things that are very negative we're taking those pills let's keep that in mind cis women said no we say yes and we're going through mental illness okay by no means I mean everybody everybody's different and stuff like that but if it, if, it, if, it, if, it, if it fits to you, you understand what's happening to you as far as your mental capability. How come you're snapping? How come you're upset? How come you're crying? How come sometimes you just want to really snap out on somebody really bad? The pill is doing a lot of you. The suicide mental frame of mind. You want to kill yourself. And the thing about it is I don't think people take mental illness as seriously as it is. That the person that's on these hormones and stuff, you really have to check in on them. Because mentally is working on their mind. They're thinking of, oh my God, I'm running to America, I look the same, but the same way. But reality is that your frame of mind mentally is being broken down too. So even though it's breaking down your testosterone, it's weakening the brain. I've talked to a lot of girls who've been on it for a minute and stuff like that, and I watched them kind of like slowly go crazy. When I say that, I don't mean, you know, um, like this applied to everybody. But a lot of girls that's been on the way before me, they start acting really weird, like, um, maybe one of them, but I haven't been on longer than. They start talking to themselves, they start screaming, they start having these things like, um, I don't understand, I don't care about nobody in this world, you know, they start going these, like, it's like they're trying to start a fight with people that's not, that's not funny. It's like they're trying to start a fight with people that's not there. And it always funny, because if I'm the kind of person like me, especially me, Myself, personally, I don't need these type of pills. Because I, I, I do crazy all by myself. I don't need no help from a pill. And then I said, it's like, you shouldn't call it crazy. But it is a thing. You have to call it a thing. A thing. It's a tick, tick, boom. It's kind of like, I'm not saying it get to that extreme as far as killing, stuff like that. Because mental illness can be taken to a lot of different levels. It depends on the person. When I say that, it doesn't have to be a two-spirit woman. It could be a you know person not on them at all. But we kind of move towards that mentalist, but not not crazy. Well, I don't want to call it crazy. But mental illness is a form of crazy to me. 
And when I say crazy, that means they're coming at you with a knife and no, no. And you're like, okay, what's going on here? And reality is that they just want to get out of this pain that they're in. And I realize this pill is breaking us down mentally and it's taking us through it. And the more, the more pill you build up in your body, the more it's working on your brain. Just keep that in mind. Because that's nothing nobody's not talking about. But I watch a lot of girls do a lot of things behind the scene. They do extra crap here. They do cocaine, no weed. They keep trying to deal with it. And reality is that it doesn't matter how much cocaine you do, how much weed, how much Tina, and then you pop another pill back in. You're still building it up. And the reason why I'm sharing this video because I want you to get this frame of mind that's going on. So you find yourself more depressed, suicidal thoughts, you're unhappy, everything is just dark, I just don't want to be here, and stuff like that. If you're the kind of place like, listen, I, I felt that way before the pill. So I didn't need nothing added to it, you know, to get me there. Excuse me, but I want to share this with you as far as mental illness because mental illness is real. A lot of times when we're on these pills, you're supposed to go to a therapist to talk to you. You're supposed to go to a therapist, because when I took them, it was like, you want to go to a therapist? They always say you want to go to a therapist, because it's working on you mentally. We're worried about this part, but we ain't worried about this part. We can't do nothing without this. We get this part, but when this starts snapping and going crazy, we can't do things right. We don't think the right way, we kind of go crazy. But I just want to share this with you about the hormone pill with your mental frame of mind as far as turning you into mental illness. I taught the girls that were very beautiful, it still is beautiful, but they kind of like, um, a little, they're definitely much more gone than before. <clears throat> and I think it has a lot to do with the pill. Anyway, I just wanted to share this with you, because to kind of piggyback off that guy that said he was 6'8", and when he killed his body, he tried to stab his boyfriend up and wanted to kill him. And this is the frame of mind that's though that start to go through our mind, and the problem is, I'm not saying to that extreme, because this is a person that's not even on the pill. But it, I don't even know, you know, mental illness, like I said, reverse from different levels of everything. But it really needs to be taken more seriously than it is. That's why sometimes when you get a man or something in your life and they start breaking you down mentally, they don't really know how much is going to, before you snap. And you got the pill, you got hit, you got your friend of mine, and he's, and he's, if he's not building you up, he's mentally tearing you down, which makes you start snapping. And I really believe that's when a lot of people start using drugs, going out, you know, going out the way doing a lot more things. So it's just something I want to keep in mind um, today. Like I said before, I scroll on my channel to tap this Instagram button. Let me know how you feel about mental illness with these hormone pills. Let me know how you feel about it. By no means I'm saying this will subscribe to everybody, but you understand what I'm saying. At the top of this Instagram button, if you follow me or follow back, let you I love you and thank you for watching Kiss the Rain. Oh, right now, come on, baby, let's go on Instagram. Woo! Like I said before, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell right there on the right. And I want to know how you feel about this. Do you feel as though mental illness is not being taken seriously as much as it should be? Please put it in the comment section at the bottom. Did you subscribe yet? Oh, come on, man. Subscribe to my channel. What do you mean I want to subscribe to my channel? <laughs> Love you. Love you.